7 Eyewitness News exclusive. Tonight we're hearing from the family of 26-year-old Jessa McDivitt. They made the decision to, three days ago, take her off of life support. It was a week after she was hit by a pickup while walking home from work. And now, as they find out why the driver who hit her isn't facing charges, they're dealing with even more stunning news. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller here now with more. Katie, her family making the best of a terrible situation, hoped to donate her organs until they were hit with even more shocking news. The McDivitt family dealing with tragedy and unbelievable heartbreak. You think it can't get any worse and then wham. It's like you're, I feel like I've been thrown up against a wall. Just days after the passing of her daughter, Mildred McDivitt had to deal with a decision no parent wants to face, donating their child's organs. But she knew it was Jessica's wish. I was going to donate her organs and tissues. Um, they found a lump in her breasts, and it turned out to be breast cancer, so she couldn't um, donate. An unbelievable discovery by doctors. Jessica had breast cancer, something neither she nor her family knew. Devastated. Just days after Christmas, 26-year-old McDivitt was walking home from her job at Joanne Fabrics when she was struck by a pickup truck on 4th Avenue in the town of Niagara. Boss was coming home from work and saw her laying on the ground. It's a road with no shoulder and very little lighting. The driver of the truck, who stopped at the time, had no car registration. Police issued him a ticket for that violation, but didn't charge him with a crime. The McDivitts say for Jessica, they're not giving up without a fight. I want justice. She deserves that. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. The case is now in the hands of the Niagara County Sheriff's Accident Investigation Unit. The McDivitts have hired a lawyer. A GoFundMe account has been set up in her honor to help with funeral expenses. We have much more information on our website at WKBW.com. Reporting live, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.